hello internet. As you can probably tell from the difference in the wall behind me and the title of this video, I'm recording this at a different angle today and the reason I'm sitting down to record this video is because I can't actually stand up at the moment. Why is this dear watchers? Well, prepare yourself for a story of pain and embarrassment or as I like to call it, another day in the life of being me. Never was there a tale of more woe, well, except that of Julia and her man Romeo. Did you see what I did there? Did you get the reference? If you didn't, stop this video now. Just, just put it on pause. I give you free license to just pause it and go and book tickets to go and see the play Romeo and Juliet or watch the film or, you know, if you really want to challenge yourself, just go and buy the play and read it or get it from your library or just do something just get the reference about it because you need to since it's one of Shakespeare's most famous plays anyways I'm getting off course here back to why I'm sitting down so I was in town earlier with a few of my friends to go and get a dress for my 18th but when I got to the shop where I found the most perfect ah sorry leg um, the most perfect dress. Disaster struck. They'd changed the layout. And they'd also changed their stock, so... There wasn't the dress that I'd wanted to get. And it kind of ended up with me knocking things off of hangers everywhere because I'm clumsy if I don't know where I'm walking them around. And even when I do know where I'm walking around, I usually end up walking into things. Like, Earlier on, I managed to walk into my door. So after knocking everything off, I managed to get into the changing room. But what's dangerous about a changing room and trying something on? Well, let me tell you what's dangerous about the changing room. For me, basically everything. So I kind of went in and I was starting to get changed. I took off my shoe and suddenly pain struck. And my leg just something in it just got trapped so that my foot was basically pointing like a ballet dancer's foot but it wouldn't move out of that position and it was really painful and I actually got quite worried because I was sitting on the floor for a bit not being able to move it and I thought that my ankle and part of my leg were paralysed because it my ankle just wouldn't move at all so eventually I thought well I'm gonna have to crawl out of the changing room and seek assistance, which could be hideous, hideously embarrassing. Otherwise, I can just man up and try to move it myself, and if that fails, I'll go with the embarrassment option. So I managed to pull my foot back, and something, and then I heard something pop, so I could just about move my ankle again. So then I tentatively put all my weight on it, and it could stand up. So that was okay. It was still painful, but I could walk on it. And by the way, the dress which was going to be the replacement for the dress which I really wanted, see-through really isn't my colour at all, really. So, that was reason one why I can't stand up properly. Let's go on to the other thing which happened in town which was bad luck too. Got out of the shop and of course it started to rain. And I haven't owned an umbrella for about three years. So I went into a shop and I bought myself an umbrella. Go outside the shop, tried to put the umbrella up, but of course, it was broken. So I went back in and I managed to get another one. So when we were walking along, just minding my own business, reason number two I can't stand up to record this video happened. I slipped and I fell. And when I say fell, I mean I fell hard. Now, let me take you through this fall of epic proportions in slow motion. First, my feet just kind of went flying up into the air, causing my ankle to start to hurt. And then my butt connected with a solid thud to the ground. And then my elbow and my shoulder and my, the rest of my back did. And finally, the pièce de la résistance, my head connected with a solid whack. 
against the ground. And I kind of just lay there for a couple of seconds, not really knowing what I'd done, and then I realised that it was actually kind of damp where I'd fallen since it was the rain. My second thought was, oh my god, I have gloves in this bag since I've just bought some brand new nail varnish and perfume to make up for the lack of my dress and knowing my luck, they've probably shattered. My next thought was, ow. I'm not sure if you can see this, but and it probably just looks like I've got a grubby elbow, but I'm getting quite a dark bruise there. So by the morning, I'll probably have like a really bad, ow. oh, speaking of my leg, um, probably bad leg and ankle and a bruise across my shoulder and across my elbow and a throbbing headache to put the cherry on top of the cake. That was suitably embarrassing. Luckily there was only my friend with me who helped me up and was a dear. Thank you so much Rosalind for being a great friend and for not laughing at my failure. Anyway, um, to end my day I was walking to go and get picked up and a car drove past and there was a puddle and of course I got that puddle splashed all over me. So basically, that was a perfect end to my day. Anyway, I hope this video has made you feel slightly better about any awkward situations in your life. And if you laughed at my pain, good for you. And also, how can you be so heartless to laugh at my pain even though it's actually really funny once you look at it and once you get past the pain? I shall keep you updated on that, so hopefully next time I record, which will probably be next week. And I think I have to do Naramon's YouTube survey since I've been tagged by Dude, Where's My Apple? Who you should all go and subscribe to, by the way, if you're watching this, because she's one of my really good friends and her vlogs are really cool. Yes. Okay. Um, awesome. Allons-y.